when service providers need soft switch performance that saves power, space, and transmission costs while delivering superior IP capabilities, more and more choose the GenBand C20 Converged Soft Switch. That's why the C20 is the industry's leading voice over IP soft switch and is currently deployed in over 250 networks the world over. The C20 enables communications applications from the GenBand Genius Platform, an IP unified service technology that combines ATCA hardware, GenWare middleware, and GenView OAM. This common carrier grade platform supports multiple applications, including network transformation, convergence, and mobile broadband. Robust geo survivability ensures the C20 can operate reliably, even if there is a catastrophic site failure. So natural disasters, network failures, or power outages at one site do not interrupt communications, since either unit of the C20 can operate the entire network at full capacity. Let's take a closer look at the C20 Geo survivability on our Genius platform. The Genius platform shown here includes the C20 and A2 application server with a mix of MGCP and SIP lines. We will monitor traffic activity on the C20 units, track operations and administration terminal messages, and confirm the results with a standard phone call. The C20 units are connected via an optical network, allowing sites to be situated at a distance of up to 550 fiber kilometers. The C20 is connected with red-orange optical cables, which carry activity information over optical switches and wide area fiber optics to the mate site. This link provides the call state information for active calls and provides activity information on all active units. The optical switch at each site is connected by 100 kilometers of fiber optic cable, four spools of 25 kilometer of fiber optic cable for our demonstration. In this demonstration, we will simulate an outage by killing power to Site B of the geo-redundant system. All active units at Site B will be lost, and activity for the entire C20 will switch over to Site A without loss of communications. To replicate real-world network conditions, we will load the C20 with substantial voice traffic generated by the Hurricane Traffic Tool at a rate of 1 million calls per hour. You can see from the operations terminal that the traffic completion rate is 100%. Unit 0 of the C20 is at Site A, and Unit 1 of the C20 is at Site B. Together, they form one complete C20 system, with half of the elements at each site. Each unit is fully capable of handling the entire C20 capacity. We can also see that the gateway controller at Site B of the C20 is in service and active. The Site A gateway controller is in service but inactive and ready to take over the operation of the system if required. Now, for the catastrophic site failure. In actual network conditions, this failure could be caused by a natural disaster, a building failure, or even a human error. We are now shutting down the power to all of the units at Site B by switching off the power breakers. As you can see, Site A has detected the loss of Site B units and has now assumed control of all C20 functions. The call processing, gateway controllers, A2 application server, SP2000 signaling server, and all media functions are operating and fully active at Site A. During this entire process, the traffic tool is continuing to generate calls at a rate of 1 million calls per hour. Completing the calls and verifying the voice path is connected in both directions. The traffic completion rate remains at 100%. We can now see on the operations terminal that the gateway controller at Site A is now in service and active because it has taken over full control of the call functions. We can also see that the gateway controller at Site B is in an unknown state as monitored by the system because it's dead and without power. Now, let's reverse the process by restoring power to Site B. Active control remains at Site A and calls continue to be handled. The elements at Site B are now in service and inactive again providing complete active redundancy, ready to take over control in the event of a card or site failure experienced at Site A.
this realistic demonstration shows clearly that the C20 is a fully redundant system which can spare individual cards or change over a complete site in the event of a catastrophic failure. Failures are detected and resolved automatically without human intervention. This system can run at high capacity during the failure without impact to the end user. In today's demanding telecom environment, this is the level of geo-redundant protection service providers need. GenBand Genius, a common platform that delivers uncommon performance. For more information on the C20 converged soft switch, the A2 application server, Genius, or any GenBand product, visit us at www.genband.com.